Alright guys, this is part 3 of our video tutorial um, series for PWA and in the previous tutorial we um, created our manifest.json file where we define few um, key value pairs uh, such as the name, the short name, the start URL, the display, and um, so on. So in this particular video tutorial, we're gonna add uh, more uh, key value pairs to this. So basically, what we, what we'll want is to uh, add the icon sizes for our application. So basically, we want our icon to look good. Uh, even if we use different device for our um, PWA app or project. So basically what we will do here is add this particular value. So we have here icons and then right inside that square brackets, then we're going to add the curly braces, which contains the source, the type, and the size for this particular icon. So the first one is the icon uh, 72.png and of course the size for that is 72 pixels by 72 pixels so that's the the first icon that we want to use um, and as you can see here in inside our image or img directory we're using or we do have this different icon sizes 72 96 128 1, uh, 144 until 512 so we're just going to duplicate this and change the size accordingly. So this is for icon 96, of course. And this is 96. So I'm just going to, you know, fast forward the video so that you, you won't have to watch me changing all these values right here. So there you go, we added the rest of the sizes of our icon. So we now have uh, 72, 96, 128, 144, 152, 912, 384, and 512 as the size for our icons. Again, this is for the different device that we're going to use to open up our uh, app. So for example, if you're using tablet or smartphones, uh, of course, smartphones comes with... Uh, you know different sizes so you have to make sure that you cater all those sizes by using different icons that we have here so after editing and adding all this key value pairs we're gonna save this of course and uh, we're gonna add that here inside our index.html and we will make sure that we have the manifest.json um, added here in inside our index.html so that will be um, link and then the uh, real type will be manifest and then of course uh, we have to make sure that we include the correct uh, name of our manifest.json file so you have to make sure and you gotta check that it is the same here inside our um, you know project explorer so manifest.json and manifest.json so there you go and if we try this let's um, open up this inside our browser so right now we're gonna check if the manifest.json file um, works for our application so for for us to make sure that the changes will reflect we're gonna refresh our page and also let's check the application tab right here inside your console um, I, I mean developer tools 
and then you could click the manifest so if your um, manifest.json file works then you can see all the information right here so for example the identity so we have here the name we have the short name we have um, for the presentation group then we have the start URL which is the index that each sample that we have uh, specified in our manifest.json file we have also the theme color so I'm using this particular theme color and also we have the background color orientation display and of course the icons that we have defined so for example the 72 by 72 pixels and um, of course the other sizes as well now I have uh, I'm getting this particular um, errors uh, and warnings here so the actual size 500 by 500 pixels of icon um, 5112 so I, I I think we could change this later on um, I think I I have used 500 uh, pixels instead of 512 so maybe we could you know change this later on um, we could you know set the size of our icons this is actually 51 uh, 500 pixels by 500 pixels the size of this and I'm using 512 by 512 here so that's why it's complaining right here that we have an actual size of 500 instead of uh, 512 and um, as you can see here for the installability we are getting this particular um, warning also no matching service worker detected so you may need to reload the page or check that the scope of the service um, worker for the current page include uh, a page encloses the scope and the start URL from the manifest so basically guys if you're using or if you are developing PWA then uh, there's like things that you want or things that you need uh, in order for your progressive web app to work so of course the the fact of the matter that we are um, that we created the manifest.json so manifest.json uh, is also one of the um, files that we need in order for uh, for the PWA app to work so the the second thing that we need or the second file that we need why I mean component or aspect that we need for our PWA is of course the service worker so so far we haven't um, added the service worker for our um, project so let us add that inside our project so basically what we will do is create files right here um, inside our project so the first thing or the first file will be um, sw.js so sw stands for of course service worker dot js so we will place all the service worker scripts that uh, needed that is needed for our app um, we don't want to place this inside the pages or other subdirectories of our project and of course you want this to be on the root level of our project that's because if we place it right here inside the pages file or a pages directory then it will not be or the scope will be only this directory um, it will not cover the whole project and only this particular directory pages and the same thing if we place this inside the JS file then the service worker will have only the scope of the JS directory okay so you have to make sure that you place the service worker that JS file uh, on the right uh, I mean on the root directory of your project so uh, the second thing that we're going to do here is to um, add a script or another uh, JS file inside this particular JS project or I mean JS directory so all we have to do is um, click on the new file and then we're gonna add here the app.js so basically what we will what we will do here is you know register the service worker coming from uh, the root directory of our project and then um, register that here inside our um, JS our app.js file so the first thing that we're going to need is of course because not all browsers support PWA as of the moment so we need to have a check if 
the um, service worker is supported inside the browser so let's just add here check if service worker is supported so of course we're gonna uh, use service worker or you know a condition that uh, check if the service worker is in the navigator so basically um, the the browser contains this navigator and um, we're, we're just checking if the service worker is inside this navigator or um, this browser or uh, in other words we're just checking if the support uh, if the browser supports this service worker uh, thing so if the service worker is supported then we're just gonna use the navigator and then service worker and of course we're just gonna um, register our service worker file and of course that's um, sw.js okay so this is our sw.js right here so what we could do first here is we could try to um, log something um, inside our sw.js file okay so um, this is a promise okay so this is a promise so it may or may not return something and it will take time to you know um, process so what we could do here is we could add the then method and it's going to take in one parameter so uh, we're just using the reg object right here and console.log and then we're just gonna say service worker registered Okay, and um, the reg parameter that we're using right here or the return of this particular um, code right here and then uh, it's, it's a promise so if it returns something then we're just gonna console lag the return value otherwise um, we're gonna catch an error so and then console at log um, server service worker not registered maybe of uh, some error or something and we're gonna we're just gonna display the error that um, that has been you know returned coming from the uh, this particular line of code right here so save this and inside our um, service worker we're just gonna say here first console that log service worker rel, um, inside sw.js so save and let us preview our our project so um, reload and service worker and let's just check for the console um yeah um before before of course before all these things should work we need to add that inside our um because currently we're not using the app.js file so basically what we could do is input that or i mean include that inside our index.html right here so we have here the common.js right here and of course we need one or another line for our app.js so that our service worker will be called and registered so app.js and save that and go back to our browser and we're getting this particular error a reference error reg is not defined um, let's see app.js So it should be placing it right here. 
So app.js and we're just uh, we ha now have this particular output service worker registered and this um, right here contains all the information for our service worker. So that's the first step or I mean the second step for um, you know creating a PWA app and uh, in the next video tutorial we're gonna um, talk about the life cycle of the service worker. So that's all for uh, this particular video and see you in the next video.